So, what did you see? Oh my, but no worries, I'm not going to judge you. After all, I already knew. If I may, you're looking a tad bit tired. How about we just close our eyes? Just for a bit, you know. Oh my, this is quite a pickle, isn't it? How so ever will you get out? Uh, have you checked that wall over there? <laughs> of course you have. You know, I 
can probably help you out here if you're just willing to close your eyes. Just close them. Do you know where you're going? Now that's a productive attitude. But, you know, there's been something I've been meaning to ask you. This subway system, if you'll call it that, wasn't anywhere close to where you were supposed to be executed. So why'd you come here? What drew you here? You don't need to answer that. After all, I already know the answer. So far, you've been an amazing contestant. But the stakes are rising, and the challenge is only going to get tougher as we move on to round two. You sensed it, haven't you? Things aren't going to get any better. There's no way you're going to escape death, you know. At least in any meaningful way. You're a wanted man. You've done terrible, terrible things that can never be forgiven. You were used, disposed, tarnished. Who really cared for you? Did anyone ever really help? And in the end, here you are. Utterly, truly alone. Besides me. Let me give you a piece of advice. Ghosts are real. They haunt every one of us until the day we die. We just try to forget that they're even there. Feigning ignorance has always been one of humanity's most unique, beautiful, twisted ways of self-defense. Don't forget your role in this. Now hurry! I hear there's some people that are just dying to meet you. <laughs>